Warm, dry conditions continue. Fire danger remains elevated across the state today. Yeah, as Steve was showing us, most of the state at the high or very high risk. Kristen Allen is live in Alloway this morning. Kristen, what do people need to know to avoid sparking a fire? Good morning. Well, all it takes is a small spark or ember that can quickly ignite a wildfire, causing it to grow very, very quickly. We're in Alloy this morning in a park, and you can see here behind me, these are cattails, and you can see just how dry they look. They look just like straw, many of them snapped in half. So a small spark could cause an area like this to go up very, very quickly. The DNR recommends being extra careful with off-road vehicles or other equipment that can spark. It's best to use them in the morning or late in the day to avoid sparks at peak burn hours. Burn piles and campfires can also get out of control quickly and cause a wildfire if not properly extinguished. <clears throat> The DNR says you should avoid outdoor burning until conditions improve, which is expected to happen midweek. Also be sure to secure any dragging trailer chains and report any fires to 911 immediately. On Saturday, fires burned over 300 acres. It was the single most active wildfire day so far this year, according to the DNR. And DNR burn permits and restrictions are mostly by municipality in northeast Wisconsin. There are a couple areas that the DNR does control. So you need to check with your local municipality for a burn restrictions, but burning all pretty much should be avoided for today. Reporting live in Alloway, Kristen Allen, Action 2 News.